So welcome to the stop team. You can see I jumped into yellow, which is the color of the stop team. And here is how we're gonna start every one of the upcoming five stops. There are the questions you can't escape. Why did I name those questions like that? Well, if you are curious, interested, intending, and going to grow an idea into something that is out there in the world, helping to solve other people's challenges, then you will have to go and tell people about what it is you do to find other people to join you on your quest, right? Because it's going to be quite an enormous task to build something just by yourself. You will need other people. And Whenever you do that, when you go out there and you will ask people about them possibly joining you on your quest, they will ask you questions. And these are the questions, the questions you can't escape. And here they are. Who are you? <laughs> this is the question that is at their beginning, maybe right away with the second question, who are your team members? What's your motivation? And what makes you think you can get it done? You specifically, you and your team, what is so special about you that you think you can get it done? Since we're in the stop team, I'm staying with those questions right now and I'm not jumping over yet in what it is you do, right? This question belongs into the stop idea. And here you already have a bridge to that. But I'm staying here because it's about people. Why is it about people? Well, ultimately, and that's a secret that I'm sharing with you right now. Ultimately, people will decide if they want to work with you on a certain idea. It's most probably not because of their idea but because of you. So really focus on being able to answer these questions in a way that tells people a lot about you, your team members, what are you up to and why do you think you are able, you are the right team, you are the dream team to solve this challenge that you want to tackle. And to be able to understand the depth of a topic, I have chosen to use the picture of an iceberg, a huge one. Do you have it in your mind now? About 20% of the iceberg is on top of the waterline, visible, visible to everyone, transparent, and in public, 80% of the iceberg is actually below the waterline. And that's where all the topics reside that you actually have to solve, that you actually have to have an answer for before you can describe and answer those questions, this dream team that is working on a specific idea to share that with the world to create that impact that you want, that improvement that you want to deliver to other people's lives. So stop team. Above the waterline, we have the dream team, the A team. You are the ones, right? The heroes. What are the topics that are below the waterline? You can imagine it's about us. It's about us as people. It's about who we are. It's about what we believe in. It's about our personalities, our skills, our competencies. It's everything around us and our education, where we came from, our habits, our emotions. Now you can see that I'm diving into another dimension. Our values, the culture we come from the way we work. Lots and lots of topics, I can see them in your minds right now, that are connected 
to you as an identity, as a person, but not visible to the world, right? This is all of the topics that you have to bring up to the table within your team so that you and your team, you're one. You are acting as one force above the waterline, right? So all the discussions and possible arguments or let's say uh, processes to balance out on how you connect, they are below the waterline. They also have to happen before you go out there in public. A lot of it could be sub-summarized as your openness to learn. Your openness to learn about yourself and your openness to learn about others and to connect with others on deeper dimensions that you are used to. One important topic here, you have to have the motivation to want to do this. This is not something anybody is forcing you to do. Actually, I believe, or much stronger, I know for a fact that if you are forced to do something like this, it will not work out because this requires you to be there with your heart. People who are doing this under pressure, who are trying to find people to work with under pressure, are definitely not having the best setup here. It's very unlikely, I would say, that you can actually be there, show up with your entire potential. Because that's just how we are built as human beings. We need to be there as a whole being with our minds, our hearts and souls. We want to be seen, we want to matter. And that's what everyone, every human being wants. So we have to find ways to show up as such, to be open, non-judgmental, respectful, and find out those people who are actually really connecting, who are resonating with what we are striving to do, who want to join us on the journeys we are on. You have to be there as a whole human being. I hope that makes sense to you and that opens, that it opens the door to connecting to that inner drive that you have finding that courage again to show up with who you are and to feel proud of it. 